Hi everyone. Today we are going to be making a gingham mug rug. You will need three different colors of yarn, preferably a lighter color, a darker color of the same color, I guess the same shades, and a white. I am using four weight yarn and a size G or a 4.5 millimeter hook, crochet hook. Now right now I am chaining 31 stitches with the light pink. For this gingham I'm using light pink, red, and white. Okay, so once you have the chain, you single crochet into that second chain from the hook. Oops, here, let me show you that again. Right into that second chain. And then into every chain across. So at the end of the chain, you will have 30 single crochets. Oh, actually I forgot. We're gonna start off the gingham pattern right away. So after the fifth stitch and right in the middle of the sixth, you're going to change that red, that light pink to red. And I do that by making half of the single crochet and then for the last, for the second half of the single crochet, I just add in that red. And then continue to crochet with the red so you will have six single crochets on your chain so far and then we're going to make six red single crochets into the next six, six chains but on that sixth single crochet you will change back to the light pink. Now I do want to say, however you like to change colors is fine. I do it this way to avoid having to weave in ends at the end because as you see, I'm holding the end of that red underneath and I'm also holding that light pink. So I crochet that right in to the chain it's those ends and the light pink that I'm carrying through are hidden under within that single crochet. So now I'm getting ready to change back to the pink. So I crochet half. Say so go under, wrap around, pull through, and I'll wrap that red over. And then I'll wrap the pink around, holding that red with my thumb. That little piece, that tail end, I'm just gonna bring out the back and I can either clip it or weave it in when I'm finished. But this pink, I'm just gonna finish that single crochet and then bring that red forward, put it underneath so I can hold it within my light pink single crochets across. And then I'm going to single crochet five pink single crochets across. And then on that sixth one, I'm going to change colors again. It, it may look a little complicated, but once you get it down, it's really, really easy. The basic concept is you just change colors 
and keep crocheting holding the color you're not using underneath so it is held within that single crochet. So let's change back to red. Make half a single crochet, then wrap it over without pulling through. Pick up that red, pull through, and then grab that pink and crochet right over it. Then you'll crochet six of these. Actually, you'll crochet five of the single crochets and then you'll switch colors on the sixth. Okay, so when you get to the sixth, wrap that red around, pull that pink through, but this time, since it's going to be the last six stitches on the chain, we are not going to hold that red under. We're just going to finish crocheting the six pink single crochets. And that red is going to stay behind because we don't need it again on this row. We won't need it again till we pick up after we turn and we're starting that same red block again. So when we get to the end of the sixth pink single crochet, we'll chain one and turn our project. We're starting our second row and we're going to crochet a single crochet into each of the six single top of each six single crochets on that second row. And when we get to the sixth one, we're going to crochet half, wrap it around, don't pull it through, grab that red, pull it through, hold the pink underneath, crochet five single crochets just like that, and then on the sixth stitch, you are going to change back to the light pink and hold the red underneath and then we're going to repeat the first row all over again this time it's a little easier to tell where to crochet because the, um, what would you do? Semicolon, not semicolon, parentheses, color map, parentheses <laughs> is already there. You have the, basically on that bottom row, it's gonna be three pink blocks, or I, the bottom five rows are going to consist of three pink squares and two red squares. And then what you're going to do is just repeat this same exact row until you have a total of six rows. And by that time, you should have five squares that are squares. 
if that makes sense. Now we're starting row three, and it's going to be a repeat of row two. Easy peasy. Between happiness and second guessing, I thought I was fine. Now the truth is oh so clear that you make me happy with the future that I see. It's a wonderful view, all out of rescue every time you're near. I can finally see just what I've We're getting to the end of the sixth row, so I wanted to hop on here with my voice. And we are going to change colors. Right now, we're not gonna go back with pink. We're going to cut the red. The red and the white are the only ones that will cut. And, oops, this is a little farther in than I wanted to go. Um, what I have done is I have switched and crocheted the white, the six white stitches into the six pink stitches and the six pink stitches into the six red stitches. So the blocks so you'll start being able to see the, ging the gingham pattern here. And sorry about not showing you the very beginning of the row. I think a little bit of my, my video got cut off and I'm not sure why. But it was nothing out of the ordinary um, used to start the row. Basically the only thing different was we changed to white but the rows now are going to be exactly the same as before. It's just we're using white and pink 
instead of pink and red. Okay, we're going to go up here and crochet row two. And once again, we will speed up the video because you guys already know how to do this part. I, I love watching the pattern start starting to emerge. I think that's super fun. Where it gets really fun is when we start on the third group of blocks. Okay, let's go a little fast. Oh, this is great. Hi, Kim. Squee. Squee. <laughs> I have not gotten a chance to look at what you sent to me yet, Kim. Anybody watching this 10 years from now will not know what in the world is going on here. <laughs> Kim sent me a picture. Kim, my yarny bestie. Okay. Now... Kim, if you can just stop sending me pictures, we can go fast again.
Okay, we're getting to the end of this row, so I am going to change colors. We're going to be starting the third set of blocks. We're ending row 12. We're starting row 13. And we're going to be starting with the pink. I think we're starting with the pink. <laughs> That's the one thing about voiceovers. Sometimes you don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, wait a minute. First, I'm going to cut the white. And then I'm going to start with the pink. And it goes from the pink to the red. But let's see, chain one up. Crochet across. And we're going to be starting the same rows all over again. This is going to be, it's going to be exactly the same as rows one through six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six with the pink. And don't forget, you're going to be changing the colors right in the middle of row six. We're going to be changing from pink to red. And there's the handy dandy red. There we go. I absolutely love starting on this bunch of blocks, the third bunch, because you can start to see the, the color coming in. The, the, not the color, but the pattern. So now that we've got the third bunch of blocks started, and you know they're going to be exactly like rows one through six, the same exact colors. I am going to fast forward through this a little bit. What can I say? I want you there. You're my one good habit. I'm ready to play together in the sun. What can I do? I guess it's the way. Just what I've been missing now that you're with me. I know every, every moment I'm thinking of you with a smile. I know that it's simply right. Never had a moment when a lover was a friend just like you. And it's simply right. It's simply right. It's simply right, too. I was caught on the line. Between happiness and second guessing, I thought I was fine. Now the truth is oh so clear that you make me happy with the future that I see. It's a wonderful view, all out of rescue every time you're near. I can finally see just what I've been. Apart when I'm holding you Every, every moment I'm thinking of you with a smile I know that it's simply right I never had a moment when A lover was a friend just like you 
Okay, we are coming to the end of the row and now you can see the pattern starting to form and what you do is you make it as long as you'd like. For, for this, we would make it square. So it would be um, five blocks by five blocks, which would be 30 stitches across by 30 rows up. Now you can also make whatever you wanna make. You can make blankets, you can make um, rugs, Use your imagination and have fun. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what one of these looks like finished. Now I know with the other one I was using pink. I just replaced those colors with the blues, the, the blues and whites. And when I finished all five rows, I just went around the edges and as you can see, I'm still working on it. I'm probably gonna make one more around, but I just went around with white, single crochet, very simple, and that's it. Uh, this is a dishcloth because I made it with 100% cotton. Uh, the other, the pinks, I, I was making with acrylic and that's going to be for my coffee cup. But this makes a perfect dishcloth, I think with these, I used five stitches across, five stitches up. So you make your square however big or small you want it to be. That's up to you. Um, but the general idea is, are, are the colors. The colors are what makes the pattern. So I hope you guys had fun doing this. Um, and I, I would love to hear and to see what you make. Uh, comment down in the comments below, or also show some pictures in the face in the Yarn Geeks Facebook group. I will leave a link to that down in the description below too. Okay, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Love you. <laughs> Bye.